Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to get the best kernel for your Easy Flash Omega, and this kernel is known as Simple Light. So basically, this kernel has loads of stuff installed, loads of plugins that let you view pictures and play different types of games. It's probably one of the best plugins you can actually get. So if you guys want to get this, you must go and take out your SD card, take it out of your Easy Flash, go and connect this to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to the latest Easy Flash Omega kernel in the description. Now, this is actually a custom kernel. Um, there's a few screenshots here, so you can get a quick look of what it looks like. Um, the kind of like GUI, I guess, what it looks like is kind of basic, but what it does is actually pretty cool. So if you guys have one of these and you want to get it, scroll all the way down, and this is the zip file we want to download. So make sure it's the big update version. Just click on this, and then it will begin downloading. So once you've got this downloaded, you want to go to your downloads folder, and find a zip file in there. So here is mine, it's simple light. What we are going to do first is just format my um, SD card. Now if you have any games, you can keep them. I'm just going to format mine right now because I actually just want a completely fresh install. So let's just put fat, default, start, okay. Give this just a couple of seconds. Once it's done, close out. And as you can see, it's now formatted. So let's just go back to my downloads and find a zip file. So what we're going to do, get the zip file, right click and select extract here. It's going to give us three files, system, important and easy kernel, system and easy kernel. And we want to copy both of these onto the root of our SD card. If you double click on the uh, .txt file, you can actually see the registered file types that work. Um, so as you can see, this does play quite a lot of stuff now. We can actually get... Um, like Neo Geo Pocket and stuff like that. So maybe I'll test a few of those out if I can find some. So yeah, let's just close out of this. You can read it. That's basically everything. Here is my Game Boy Advance game. Um, probably one of the best games I've made. So I'm just going to copy this across um, to the root of my SD card as well. Now guys, on our SD card, this is what it should look like. We can right click, create a file, and just call it like GBA for our Game Boy Advance games. And obviously you do Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and you just put them in the correct file folders. So yeah, so it should look exactly like this. And once we have got it looking like this, let's go back onto our Easy Flash Omega and let's install this brand new kernel. Okay, so back off your PC, let's just go and put the SD card back into my Easy Flash. Now guys, before you actually turn your Game Boy on, you have to hold R, from, so right, and then go and power it on. Now what this is going to do is actually update the kernel. So just keep on holding it as it's powering up. Wait for the logo. And it's going to come up with this, Easy Flash Update Mode. Now let go, and you're just going to wait for it to complete. As you can see, there is the progress. Um, so let's just wait for it to get to 100%, and then it should start installing. Okay, so once it's done, it's just going to boot up the system just like this. And as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. So we have now got our new theme. You can use, We can use left and right to scroll through. So as you can see, we've got the North Flash Browser. We've got the configuration settings. Here you can change the time, the date, um, cheats and everything like that. You can change t tons of stuff in here. We've also got the um, kind of like help page where you can scan that QR code for an online manual. You can also see here, there is a simple light theme. But let's just go all the way back to the start. Okay, so what we can do, we can actually launch pictures now. So here is my image file. If we press A to go onto this, you can actually upload kind of any picture you want, um, which is actually really cool. And um, this is quite a nice new feature. So it takes a while, you just have to wait, and it will actually load in kind of any custom image um, you want to load onto your Game Boy. And then of course it will just play Game Boy games like normal, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, all of the normal systems. So let's go into the Game Boy folder and we can actually just press A and then A for OK to just launch up our game. So everything works perfectly the same. This is basically just an updated kernel with um, loads of plugins in, um, which is actually really, really cool. So there's tons of plugins on the GBA temp page or you can read them out in the text document. Uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.